So ever since Blade Show of last year, I have been very honored and privileged to be part of this EDC collab group. You may notice a lot of other videos out there on this very same topic. Well, we collabed on this topic and was really wanting to define and talk about what is a budget EDC. So, got me thinking about all the things that I have to deal with as far as family stuff, home stuff, uh, works to all the stuff that has to do with raising kids. I have three beautiful boys, love them more than life itself. And it's incredible to think about how much more things cost now. And, yeah, and I know we've heard that on the news. I know we've heard that for you know several years now. Inflation has gone crazy. Uh, this is not a Democrat or Republican issue. This is just a societal issue. So not to get into the standards of economics and subject on top of that or anything like that. What I'm trying to say is stuff just costs a lot more now. And I got reminders of that here in the last just 10 days. My house payment is going up pretty, pretty significantly because I live in an area where property taxes, my house payment is staying the same, but the property taxes that I have to pay are going up significantly because of the area that I live in south, way, way south of Nashville is growing like crazy. So, and then on top of that, with the growing costs of different stuff, my health care costs. Fortunately, it's just my wife and I's health care that is going up and it's not going up terribly significantly, but it's a it's about a four hundred dollar increase for the both of us over the course of you know a month. So I don't know about you, but four hundred dollars that's a pretty decent car payment, possibly maybe not even that these days. But I've been blessed to live fairly debt free. I don't have a car payment. Um, I don't have any kind of major payments. All I have is the regular bills, utility bill, house payment, and really that's the only debt that I have. And so. I try to operate in the most economically feasible place that I can. And so when it comes to EDC, I hope that comes through in my videos and I hope that it comes through uh, with everything that I'm talking about. I really don't like to feature uh, super duper expensive knives. In fact, the most expensive knife I've ever bought um, was actually probably this weekend. It was the Ocaso Solstice. And if you'll see there, this is just one of those blades that is just incredible and um, and I love it and I saved up for it. I had some money saved for it and I bought it. So back to the original question, what is a budget EDC? I think a budget EDC is defined as something that lives within your means, meaning you don't have to go into debt to buy something. You don't have to go uh, put it on a credit card. Uh, you can save up that money to get it, or you can purchase it outright. Uh, it's, it's something that you can get within your means, but also it's something that works for you. And you know what? That's really what EDC is all about. Um, everyday carry is about carrying the items that work for you the best. Not the most flashiest, not the ones about keeping up with the Joneses. You ever heard that phrase, keeping up with the Joneses? You know, constantly trying to drive the nicest car, constantly trying to drive or to have the nicest clothes or the best stuff. And yeah, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about what I'm wearing. I'm wearing an Ocaso hat. I'm wearing, you know, I'm wearing a nice watch from Casio, not Ocaso, but I'm sitting here talking about a $200 knife that I bought this past weekend at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, which by the way, that video is coming soon. But this is not what I'm about. This is just something that I did. And this is not, I'm not buying something because uh, I wanted to keep up with somebody else. Uh, this is something that I got because I wanted it. Now, there is something to be said about, about buying quality over quantity. Um, I grew up in the glory days of Sony. Um, Sony stuff was just expensive. It was the apple of its time. Um, now we have Apple. Apple stuff is, is more expensive. You're going to pay the Apple tax. But if you actually look at it, some of Apple's computers are very, very comparable to some of the prices of the 
regular Windows PC computers and they do the same things, right? And so what you're paying for, if you're paying for that name just to keep up with the Joneses, just to keep up with those people beside you, or maybe to impress somebody else, then maybe that's not what you should be doing, in my opinion. I've always wanted to buy quality over quantity. Uh, I like to buy cars that are dependable, whether that is going to be American-made cars or Japanese-made cars. I want to buy a car that's going to be dependable. Uh, I want to buy a pair of shoes that are going to stay with me longer than a year. I want to buy quality um, stuff that I don't have to replace because I just don't have time to replace stuff over and over again. So I don't buy cheapest in everything. But when you think about the cheapest in some EDC stuff, there's some really good cheap stuff, just like there's some really good cheap cars out there. There's some really good cheap building materials for homes, or there's a really cheap, you know, I spent some money on a Honda lawnmower 10, 11 years ago, and it starts up every single time. I could have spent $120 on a lawnmower, and it didn't do the same thing. But I digress. Thinking about this, this is one of the best knives that I have reviewed on my channel in the last five years. This is the Civivi Mini Praxis. This is a phenomenal knife and I would consider it absolutely budget. It's $30 no matter where you look. You can get these for less than $30 when they're on sale if you have coupon codes and whatnot. And if you want to support the channel, I'll put a link below. But this is one of the best knives that I've ever used and it's budget. So for you to say, well, you've got to have XYZ knife or else it's going to just fall apart. I, I don't agree with that. I have used this significantly and it has been incredibly great for me. A couple of other EDC items that are budget that I think um, would fall under that range. And again, I would, think, I would think that the budget range, extreme budget is going to be lower than 50 budget, 50 bucks. Upper limit of the budget, I think, is going to be 75 bucks. So anything 75 bucks and below, I think you're falling into budget territory. And I don't think that you can complain about something being expensive, especially for a tool, a knife, a wallet, and a flashlight. I don't think you could complain for something being under, you know, 50, 60 bucks and saying it's not expensive. So I'll share some of that stuff here with you. But this is, of course, I've talked about this, the SOG PowerPoint. This is just one of those really nice... Um, it's just a really awesome little multi-tool and it's, it's a budget multi-tool. It's budget. It's usually around 35, 45 bucks. Can't beat this for a budget multi-tool. You don't have to go out and buy the Leatherman Arc at $230 just because some EDC YouTubers told you to do that. Not that they've told you to do that, but, but because some people have recommended it and you've got that FOMO of I gotta, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, or else everybody's gonna say, why don't you get the leather menorah? You know, it just, just doesn't add up. So this right here, completely sufficient for my needs. Another budget item that I like to look at. You know, I'm gonna review this one. You're gonna see a video about this one next week. I've already got it done. It's already on YouTube. I just gotta release it. Uh, this is the wa aluminum wallet by Furid. It's just two pieces of metal, a really nice milled metal and a nice pocket clip there. It's a great metal wallet. You don't have to spend 80, 90, 100 bucks on a Ridge wallet when you can get something that's like this for 10 bucks. That's right, 10 bucks for this. And it's not cheap, it's metal. It's very, very decent quality and it's gonna hold up for you. It's not just gonna fall apart. There is something to be said about cheap versus budget. So this, something really good about that. When you get up to the upper end of the budget, I would consider something like the Vosteed Raccoon. The Vosteed Raccoon is one of those knives that I have absolutely fallen in love with. And you're going to see a video about this one, a dedicated video about this one very soon. It is just a absolute, just a dream of a knife, honestly. I can't say enough good things about it. So you're going to see about that. Vosteed has been very kind to send me a couple of those, and that's really great. But you're looking at those $50, $60 price range for an excellent, excellent knife. If you were buying one knife, this could be it. And you could pay on the upper end of that budget quality. My favorite flashlight of all is the Thru-Night Archer Mini. It is just a nice little flashlight it is so pocketable. I love the design and it, and it's just, it's budget 
14 bucks, 15 bucks, 18 bucks, depending on what, where you find it on Amazon. Phenomenal little flashlight, and it's my favorite, and it's a budget flashlight. So there are many, many options out there, and yes, you do have to watch for things that are super duper cheap and will fall apart on you very quickly. Um, you do have to watch for that, but then there's that delicate balance of, wow, look at some reviews on YouTube. Look at some places that people say this is a really good light. I'm telling you, I've had the Archer Mini for two years now, the same light for two years. It has been rock solid and absolutely wonderful. And also, uh, just to mention this right here, it charges my favorite USB-C, if you see it right there. I know it's kind of hard to see with the shop lights and everything like that, and I appreciate you being here today. But, so to think about that, you know, what we would not consider is budget is something like the Ocaso Solstice. It, it's a flashy knife. You're not gonna be doing hardcore stuff with this knife. Um, another knife that you could possibly do hardcore stuff with is the Runt 5 by Protec. I mean, 175 bucks is what I paid for this. It's a tiny little Magna Cut blade, and it's one of my absolute favorites. Uh, I carry it quite a bit, but at the same time, not budget, and probably not for most people, especially non-knife people, non-EDC people. So again, just think about those different things. If you think about pouches, and I know Timu has some weirdness with their tracking and, and different things like that, but I think I got this for 99 cents. This is a nice little free coast, free coast, something like that. Little pack, a little pouch, 99 cents for this thing. Unbelievable. Then I picked up this right here. This is an STW, I believe, STW Designs. Yeah, STW Designs. This is one of my most favorite ones ever. And you've got some hook and loop on the front. You've got some really rubberized, nice things on the inside there. I think this was like 20 bucks. Uh, so there are plenty of budget options out there. Um, a lot of people have commented on my Notorious EDC pouch video and have said, 50 bucks is way too much. I, I, they've, they've been like, well, this is, and this is the all good pouch, by the way. They've said 50 bucks, way too much. Um, you can, why would I ever pay that? Why would I ever pay that for a pouch? But I'm telling you right now, this is my favorite pouch. It's dependable. It's got really great materials in it. You've got a lot of different options for hook and loop there. It's just incredible. And to me, it's still worth the price tag. And I think that might be kind of where we wrap up on this topic. Uh, budget is probably, I don't necessarily agree with it's whatever you can afford, um, but it is whatever that you would like to get within your means and it works for you. So if your means are to buy a $200 Benchmade and a $230 multi-tool and a $100 wallet and a $50 pouch. Uh, if your means allow you to do that, great. That's your budget, okay? But don't hate on somebody else for not having those things and don't say, I can't believe you don't have this. No, that's not, that's, that's going back to like grade school kind of stuff, making, making people feel bad for what they, what they feel is good. I would not be embarrassed to be caught in public with one of the famous YouTubers pocket checking me and having the Savita V Mini Praxis in my, um, in my pocket. I would not be embarrassed for that. It's the, one of the cheapest knives I own, but it's also one of the best knives that I own. And so again, budget is really what you make it. And this has been a little rambly, but it's been a different kind of video. Let me know what you think and let me know what you like about this video. Do you like me rambling on some topics? I've got some thoughts. I've got some things that I could say. I've got some thoughts on blade steels. I've got some thoughts on, you know, what is budget and what is not. All sorts of different stuff. So leave me a comment down below. We're going to see, you're going to see a lot of reviews probably in the next week or two. Because I've got a lot of reviews. I've got them sitting right over here, right, all, right off camera. So make sure you drop a like on this. Make sure you check out all the other EDC Collab videos. Uh, Max Level EDC, John Gadget, all the other ones that are part of the EDC Collab group that opted to do this video. Really appreciate you guys and for including me. Thank you so much for being here today. Go out and have a great week and God bless you.